special shout out to my amazing members and patrons for your support. They are Samadina, Matthew, Lucky Charms, Rick, Himuri, Shalin Kili, I'm Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Bunny 264, Justin Rice, MDF 84ZA, Ozzy Bozzy, Kono 76, Beloka, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Krabian, Zareel, Furious Rams, Nathan V, Onokian, and Amy. Instead of becoming a patron, if you also want to go above and beyond in supporting the channel. Hey everyone, and welcome back to War of the Walkers mod. Let's just quickly go through all the patch notes. There has been two updates 1.1.5, 1.1.6. It says 1.1.5 should be save game safe. But I mean, it has been two updates since I lost all of the Walkers video, so hopefully it is true. If you want to skip this on the screen, it should show where the video begins, or there's in the progress bar down below a timestamp. Go check that out. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in notes, let's get started. Uh, remove two outed loading screen tips, add a new coin purse model, fix nursery upside down lights, fix vanilla paintings not being harvestable with wrench, change flare stack to limit one, uh, fixed action skills showing up book icon, updated slot machine game event. I still want to try the slot machine. Fixed Dwarves Gas and Garage still had B-Dub's vehicle block. Fixed wall, uh, Dwarves the Shong Tower Ditch on side of prefab. Added Corpse Removal Tag to Scrap Iron Axe. Magazine Racks now stock magazines. Awesome. I'm hoping these are the bonus magazines. Automotive Bookcase now stocks... Automotive. Automotive. <laughs> Automotive Bookcase uh, now stocks vehicle crafting magazines and vehicle mod schematics. That's awesome. Crowbars now require tool repair kit instead of weapon repair kit. It, yeah, that makes sense. A crowbar is a tool. Fixed battery bank and electrician's crafting skill now showing tooltip and unlocked. Fixed icon order for forged steel and resources crafting skill. Ammo piles now can drop ammo crafting magazines. That is awesome. Added recipe to stack gunpowder into gunpowder bundle. Added chance to class fragments to, uh, to book vending machine at traders. Oh, I want to try this. Uh, removed eating animation when using experience cards. Fixed green tint on ammo forge. Added empty model for executive desk. Added in... JNS backpack mod changing it to 8x15 layout. Added recipe to cold beer design as well as added items to traders. Updated corpse removal tags on several mod tools. Updated electrician uh, crafting uh, skill to no longer show duplicate entries on batteries. Fixed type on Unreal Canuck Superstore prefab name. Don't know what that actually means. We'll see. Uh, fixed construction crafting skill tier 3 being uh, blank when reached level 70 of that skill. Fixed mailboxes missing icon, added workstation crafting complete sound to workbench, adjusted spawn rate for mod vehicles in world, fixed daring adventure description showing level description for all levels, added uh, muskip small remnant prefab, merged in various muskip prefab pod updates, mod potted plants now pick up to the vanilla potted plants variant block, Fixed quest rewards being OP for experience and coin gain. So the, the rewards are going to be a little bit less now. But it's to balance the game, so you can't complain about that. Fixed walls, smart packaging, book description showing wrong info. Fixed toolboxes, wrong icon. Added recipe for horseshoes, de a decorative block. Updated score to version 1.1.284.928. Updated melee tool progression part 5 quest. Do not require crafting sword and combat knife. Uh, probably that's because it had to unlock to weight your high or something. Uh, move several deco uh, decoration blocks and recipes to fabrication station. Food spoiler block now under building group. A rope ladder block now under building group. Uh, napalm now shows crafting location description. Ooh, napalm. CO2 now shows crafting location description. Remove basic group category from player uh, backpack. Added mods group category to player backpack. Now will be easier to find the craft magazine bonus mods. Oh, nice. Uh, for the next one, 1.1.6. Fix several more painting uh, award not picking up after harvest. Uh, added ability to harvest calendar props. Increased time talking for inv in time taking for investment match to upgrade or to lootable stage. Fix crowbars missing power attack animation. Uh, minivans now harvest eco engines and batteries. A crop car now harvest eco engines and batteries. Fix downtown trade SPI missing localization. Mod bookcase now has downgrade uh, FX properties. Oh, so it, it downgrades when you read it. it. It either gets destroyed or just shows it's been looted. Advanced dew collector and oil pump tools now show craft location and is now craftable at the tool workstation. Fixed mob, uh, fixed mod crafting magazines looted from crafting skill uh, magazine bundle always being one. Added JNS new loading screen tip regarding random gen and how much JNS loves uh, Dwell. Uh, fixed wrong meat items spawning from food bundles offered from trader rewards. Fixed neon uh, beer sign, missing localization. Improved construction utility worker zombie loot. Fixed walls, the strong tower, broken sleeper volume, and several missing sinks. Fixed electrician, uh, electrocutioners. Yeah, fixed electrocutioners perk now showing in uh, info regarding uh, what shared trap experience. Guys, sometimes I struggle to read. It's like my eyes just—it's almost like I'm dyslexic sometimes. 
Increased amount of snow required to craft water. Oh, increased amount. Household chemicals now require bottles of water versus murky water. Fixed trial tower level misplaced flashlights and proper trigger volumes. I wonder if this trial tower is that one where you have to go up by with like an elevator each floor and then face more and more. And the final room is like a ton of loot. Yeast recipe now requires bottled water versus murky water. Uh, fixed soldier class level 3 broken localization. Fixed lighting up the night quest. Uh, fixed marauder showing up wrong in crafting skill menu. Fixed UH60 part recipes not unlocking from vehicle crafting skill. So basically, apparently that wasn't unlocked even though you had the skill. Possible maybe kind, uh, kind of fixed... Extremely rare null ref that can occur when returning to trader after completing a tier 5 quest. Note, if this does happen again, just hit escape and then try talking to the trader again and it will show the re uh, G re And it should regenerate or generate the reward properly then. Fixed exterior double doors duplicate recipe. And lastly, updated coin. Now, updated cabin of screams prefab. Cabin of screams? Uh, prefab, updated mortar for Colosseum, Colosseum prefab, updated Muzcorp vehicles. Updated Adventure Quest to latest version. Thanks, JNS, for the work put into this version. Updated Leather Armor description now shows crafting location. Fixed Scrap Armor showing it was crafted at work uh, Workbench, but it actually can be crafted in the player inventory. Uh, fixed Controller input for NPC Windows. Okay, that has been the updates. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hey everyone, and welcome back to War of the Walkers mod. So, there have been two updates, as you guys just saw from the patch notes, uh, since our last video, and it seems to be working well. I spent the whole night chopping down a few trees, so we have like 2,000 wood or something, and also made better tools. At the moment, we only had like level 1 stone axe and uh, shovel, now we have level 4 stone axe and shovel. Unfortunately, to un unlock the rest, you actually have to have more books and stuff. I'll show you guys now. Anyone want to get this dialogue? Hey, this design actually works really, really well. You just uh, close that door so the zombie thing there's a pathway and then you block the door. Just make sure that the zombie or the zombie or wolf or animal, whatever you want to lure, uh, doesn't do so much damage they can destroy a wooden door in one go because that's kind of going to suck. Okay, uh, so let's just really put a few things away. We have a ton of medicine over here and farming of food. We have so much food, I don't know what we're going to do with it. And then we have a problem, a little bit of a problem. Um... Our, yeah, our food's busy spoiling and we can't make anything yet. You can see over here what we want to make. All of these are quests. So if you don't have anything in the bar, these are stuff that you have to make for quests. Only problem is harvesting tools. Uh, this one we can make, but I don't think we have the parts for it. Yeah, we need duct tape. Uh, this one we can make. This one we can make. If it doesn't show this, then you know, okay, cool. I can already make it, but I have something missing. In this case, it's duct tape. I'm actually making a little bit of um, glue over here. Okay, that is a little bit short. But yeah, uh, basically glue was short in this one, so I'm actually making a little bit. Uh, with the glue, we have to make more duct tape. Let me just do this. Duct tape. We actually have to see if we can't find some more uh, aloe vera or aloe vera leaf. Because we need to make, I think, like five of this, but we only have four. So we need to find 16 more aloe vera leaves to be able to make these. Also, the same with these. Oh, I can actually make these. I thought these are still locked. Okay, but yeah, I need 15 duct tape just to be able to make this over here for the one quest. This one over here, yeah, we can actually make these. Is that, am I short on something? It doesn't look like it. Okay, I think we only have to make five of that one, and then we have to start making scrap tools and stuff as well. But unfortunately, that's still stuck under harvesting. Do we have any workstations, or can we make any? Let's see, workbench, workstation. That's still locked. Okay, guys, I still have to get used to uh, the A21 version. Because like I said, in A20, um, to be able to make like construction and stuff, this wasn't books. Um, I think this was like skills and stuff that you in had to invest or action skills and stuff. But now it's books that you have to read to be able to unlock this. So that's what's kind of confusing me at the moment. But all we have to do is make sure we find as many books as possible. These are still perk books. These ones help you passively as well, so that's awesome. Action skills. Okay, so let's just see where are we right now. We are covert loss. We have four points to spend, so I should probably try and spend them over here. But we have to be player level 30. Unfortunately, we are a little bit low for that. I'm going to do that for stamina. Ooh. Killing blows grant 10 stamina. Not bad. Perceptive, that is for speed attacks. That's also like play level 40. That's way too far away. Archer. Yeah, at the moment we're using a bow. Later, we can just go and drink the forgetting elixir and we can forget all of this stuff. Take 35% less damage from landmines. Sneak attacks deal 100% more damage. Higher than the shadows, 26% more actively. Noises from actions are muffled 20%. And sneak movement is 20% faster. Enemies will search for you up to 40 seconds. Oh, the higher this goes, the, uh, the sooner they lose interest in you as well. 
Okay, and then Spearmaster, we have to be player level 25 for that one. What are we at the moment, actually? Player level 20. Not bad, not bad. At least we have a mining helmet and everything as well. We have to start investing in these two. Let's see, run and gun. No, thank you. We're not really using any guns at the moment. This might help us. Deal 10% more damage, 5% faster fire rate, and 10% faster reload. And we are using this pipe machine gun. So this machine gun skill will definitely help us. Master Chef, that's for faster cooking. Physician, that's for healing. We have two points left, so I wonder if I shouldn't do this one. It also says treated critical injuries heal 25% faster. So if you have a sprain or something, you... Oh, but wait, 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 wait. And you'll be able to take a hit harder, uh, more. If I can take a hit, we don't have to worry too much. Okay, I technically want to go for those. Let's just see what else I can do. See, these, if I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the reason we can actually put some points in here is because we've actually done a quest or two for it. Like, for example, Technician is still 1 out of 5. Because it's 1 out of 5, if you go to Technician, you can't do it yet. The rest of them are 2 out of 5, and then we can start putting points in there. I need to focus on this. I need to put some points in here. We also have to be play level 30 for that one. I think we should try and uh, clear as many uh, big, big, big POIs as possible. The sooner the better, because the more of those we can clear with XP elixirs, as fast as we'll be able to level as well. Craft items at workstations, such as workbench and forge traps and faster, less resources wasted. Where? Okay, so I'm guessing it's under the books. Over here. Wait, where's those books? Crafting skills. Okay, we have to go for the workbench books, I think. Yeah. To unlock the workbenches and stuff, we have to do this. At the moment, we have a forge unlocked. I think that's a furnace and something else as well. We do have the Dew Collector unlocked as well, uh, but unfortunately at the moment we don't have the workbench. I think the workbench has to be at like level 12, 13 or something. Okay, so let us just go see what kind of quest the trader has. I also want to see what kind of quest we can do at the moment as well. Uh, because we have War of the Walkers quest, not just quests from the trader. If you go on the quest over here, you can actually go and kill zombies. Okay, for the classes themselves, for the COVID class, we have to wear leather stuff, but we don't have that skill high enough to make them. Soldier class, we have to kill 20 zombies using a pipe shotgun. That we can do. Uh, survivalist, we have to craft bacon, but I don't think we had enough eggs or something. I'll have to check this again. Or it might just be we don't have the recipe unlocked yet because we need to uh, read more books. Technician, craft minibike, tradesman, scrap iron axe, shovel, screwdriver. We don't have these unlocked yet. Food progression. So we make these over here. Gun progression, make those. See, these are more like a little bit later mid-game kind of stuff. Because we don't even have that stuff unlocked yet, and it says we have to craft the actual weapons. Medical, craft aloe cream, uh, melee weapons, craft club. And these are all actual club, not scrap anything. It's iron stuff that we have to make. Resource progression, harvest or gather 20, 250 plant fibers. I think I want, I want to try and see if we can go for hay bales to unlock this one a little bit. Tool progression, unfortunately this, like I said, is still not unlocked. And we have to kill 40 of any kind of zombie. So these are all just quests we have to do as we go. When we come across animals, kill them. When we come across zombies, kill them. It actually uh, gives you XP and Duke tokens and everything as a reward as well. Let us see. You reset day 5 again. We have 2.8. I want to buy this and this. you have anything else of here? I need to remember that there's, these are technically the other traders. There used to be three traders in the trader compound, but now there's only one and then two vending machines. Now the XP, no thank you. Bows, technically we should go for bows and home cooking. Home cooking will be able to help us unlock the bacon and eggs. So if we go to skills, we go to crafting, and we go to food. It shows on, uh, over here, we still have to unlock the grilled meats, fried meats, uh, the boiled meats, red tea, I think that's yucca juice, bacon and eggs, all of these still have to be unlocked. But now I wonder, if I buy these three books, one, two, three, and I read them, will that unlock all of them? It shows over here what we have unlocked as well. So go to crafting, go to food. Okay, uh, that only unlocked three of them. Oh, this keeps moving up and up. I could have sworn that stopped at 11 just now. But when I, when I just read three, it now goes three higher. So to b get bacon and eggs, I have to go uh, drink, uh, read three more of these, or total five. See, as soon as we can make coffee and stuff, that's really going to help our stamina. But for now, we have to focus on workbenches, and we have to focus on, like, vehicles and stuff. The minibike is at level 10. Yeah, I think that's going to be at least to about there. So we have to do, read two or three more books, and we'll be able to make ourselves a minibike too. The moment we can have a minibike... Guys, remember, the, tr the bicycle 
I can, I can show it outside. The bicycle has a bigger storage as well. You guys have reminded me of that too. I completely forgot. Wait, what the hell? Why is there so many buried supply quests? I wonder if this is a bug because that's a lot. Uh, buried supplies might be cool, but I think... Let's just see which of these are in our town. Oh, okay, you can go down even more. Look at all those buried supplies. Damn. Okay, so I want to see where are we on the town. So we need to go, go for quests that are to the east, north, and south. Southeast, northeast, and east. Okay, east, that one should be fine. It's a shame you can't accept multiple quests like with Rebirth. Domicile, we've done that one already. Dawes Campsite. Might want to do that one. Mushroom Mining Co. We did that in Darkness Falls. Ranger Station Beta, Delta, Passing Gas. We're going to need this as well, obviously, because we want to get ourselves some fuel for when we have a vehicle later. Okay, so we'll go for the Passing Gas. No, we'll go for the closest one. Yeah. Oh, this is a dangerous the more quests we can do close to us, the better, basically, at the moment. Okay, I want to show you guys this. Uh, you guys reminded me of this, and I completely forgot. In War of the Walkers, the bicycle has a much bigger storage. Look at, oh, that, that's not that much bigger. I could have sworn it used to be way, way bigger, unless I'm thinking of, like, Where's UK mod. Okay, and then, do we still have some of this crafting? Yep. Duct tape. You follow me. This little dude actually helps us a lot. And so far, he hasn't really taken any damage. I say now, and then he all of a sudden dies. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to make the armors and stuff now, because it requires 15. And we only have 14 duct tape. But before we loot your eyes, I want to see if we can't start drinking some of these XP elixirs and stuff as well. Which reminds me, I just really want to pop into the trader and see if I can't buy those two drinks. I want to buy one more XP elixir and one more mega crush. I okay, almost forgot. We have to keep looking for resources like this every time we talk to the trader and come to this vending machine. If I'm not mistaken, let me just quickly check over here. You should have some cobble. Yep. And then she sells duct tape. Technically, we can just get the duct tape of here and start making some of those armors. And then they can start crafting while we're out and about. You just brightened my day. You just brightened my day. Okay, so I'm just going to stand underneath. At least the inventory sharing thing is on over here. Or the craft from containers. That's cool. You can literally just stand over here, take that out. And then make one. Wait, what am I short on? Oh, iron. We don't have any iron. What the hell? I could have sworn we have some iron items. Okay, we... Is this gather? Or is this craft? Let me see. Quest? Uh, I have to craft them. Quest, quest, quest. Armor progression. Yeah, craft them. Okay. So since we're crafting them over here, that was just the boots, right? If we scrap these, I know we can sell them, but scrapping them is going to help us get those uh, more at the moment as well. That is unfortunate. I could have sworn we had enough iron to do all this stuff, but now we don't. So you have to make sure that you're constantly doing all of these quests as well. So I think when we go for that one POI now, if we see any iron, we have to break down the iron. Technically, I'm going to need the iron uh, arrowheads and stuff. The shotgun, I need to keep with me because we need to kill some zombies with a shotgun. Oh, I wonder if you can put those shells on there, but I doubt it. That would have been cool. <laughs> Imagine you could put those heavy duty. I think that's a Remington shotgun stuff over there. Every time I see hay bales and stuff that I go past, I need to make sure that I stop and just really pick it up. It only gives you like seven or so um, grass, but it's easier than going and smacking the grass over there. Already, just from a few hay bales, we have like 63 grass, so that's kind of cool. Although, I, I wish it was more, because you know how much grass we're going to have to collect just to be able to do that. Okay, so I want to make sure we're going to use these two, and then when a zombie's on the floor, we have to make sure we use the shotgun to take them down. Otherwise, we won't be able to get the kill. Uh, with the shotgun at the moment, it's too weak to kill any tougher zombies. Ooh. Probably wrench these. I think if I wrench the vehicles and stuff, we might get lucky. It's a working vending machine. Thank you. Don't have enough cash left, unfortunately. Okay, but anyways, uh, we're going to reset this. I need to make sure that we go and scrap this place after. Just realize we don't even have a wrench yet. If I had a wrench, we can wrench the vehicles and stuff with some iron and do the armor th uh, then. And also, I need to see if I can't unlock my lockpicks as soon as possible as well. And now all of a sudden it's not working. That sucks. Dude, why are you stuck over there? Okay, that's one down. I'm just if it's possible to actually kill them one shot like this. 
It is. Okay, but I'm going to have to be careful because I'm uh, luring all the zombies in the area as well. And then we have to make sure we loot all of these because we might get more duct tape and glue. Even the corpses on the floor, we have to pick them up, pick up all the chairs. Okay, yeah, I'm going to loot the stuff after. For now, dude, move. Let's just make sure we kill all the zombies and stuff over here and then we can focus from there. Ooh, I didn't even realize there's a vehicle to the side of here. Oh, okay, so the dog almost killed it. Remember, you have to be the one to kill the zombie. It's awesome that the dog helps you, but if the dog just killed that zombie for me, it wouldn't have counted for my quest. Okay, so next up. Oh, wow, why is he so tall? Damn it, that didn't count for me. My reader was just slightly too slow just now. And there's definitely going to be zombies and stuff inside over there. Ooh, there's a hidden box over here. Hello, if I'm not mistaken, these boxes are supposed to have uh, the magazines associated with them inside as well. Construction and design, nice. That's for construction, like with cobble and stuff. It says we can make medium storages, nice. That is definitely something we're looking forward to right now. Okay, and you go outside. Ooh, it's gonna be a dog, isn't there? I know there's a dog over here. There's a dog on this side. Just turn this light off. Oh, there's also fuel at the side of here. I almost forgot about that. There you go. Okie dokie. So now we just... I want to go back inside, but I want to get this fuel first. See, when it comes to fuel, I should probably see if I can't double dip as much as possible. That way you don't have to worry about fuel later because you are constantly getting fuel before you reset the quest. That's the only stuff. I don't really like doing it with a final stash. But at least for this, you need all the iron you can get. Oh yeah, I forgot you can loot all this stuff as well. Okay, and I'm going to grab the resources later. For now, let's just make sure we kill all the zombies first. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Bands and stuff. Most of the stuff will only be able to scrap, but that's fine. I want to come uh, loot all of these boxes. There's a big chance of getting, like, um, weapons and stuff. At least duct tape. We need duct tape and glue. The more of that we can find right now, the better. I'm happy with that. Okay. There's going to be construction workers on that side. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, look at the big boy. Ooh, more XP elixir. See, we have to drink these XP elixirs, and the only way to do that is if we go and clear big your eyes. It will be only a place or time when it's worth it, basically. Okay, the thug I just damaged as well. We're going to get the 20 kills really early if I keep doing this as, as well. Okay, it says return to trader. Now we just have to grab all the final stashes and stuff over here. I'm definitely going to have to see if we can't unlock ourselves... The, the wrench or something really, really early on. We need to be able to wrench all these parts. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lockpicks and a wrench. That's what we really need right now. And also with this shotgun ammo, I need a Remington. I think the Remington... Let me just see if that is actually a thing. Yeah, Remington. Oh, I want this gun. Shotguns, but at what level? Shotguns. I think that's a Remington over there, right? It makes sense. The Remington's the best gun in the game. So only at like level 72 can you unlock the Remington. Unless you're lucky and you actually find it. So if we can go to like the snow biome or the desert biome. I'm actually thinking in this mod to go to the desert biome. Because if you go to the snow biome, there's going to be too many in, uh, raiders and NPCs and stuff with guns. But if you were to go to the desert biome, sure you can actually get a, a NPC with a gun or two. Come on, come on, come on. But at least uh, you should be able to get to safety faster. Remember, basically, the desert, uh, the the forest is the weakest biome. Then the desert is a little bit tougher. Then the snow, and then the wasteland. So the wasteland is the toughest. Then uh, after that's the snow. Then desert. Then uh, uh, the forest of here. So if we can make sure that we go live at least in the desert. We'll get better loot, and then we just have to be careful of like Harley and some of the raiders with guns. But they shouldn't have like great or epic guns because it's not like the snow or the wasteland or something. That went way, way, way... Ooh, where's the airdrop? Where's the airdrop? I just saw the uh, the uh, general entry pop up over here, so there is an airdrop as well. Nice. We have to go for that OP bunker, but I'm waiting until we have enough lockpicks to go for it. 
if we can go in there with enough lockpicks, we can actually get some really insanely good loot. But you guys, for these resources, I do like one right click and then two left clicks and that's it. So I'm going to show you guys with this, for example. Right click, left click, left click. And we save some stamina by doing that this way. And it does, it does use quite a bit of stamina when you do power attacks. But at least if I do two power attacks, it stops at like eight HPs. That's a waste. So instead of wasting the power attacks, we do one power attack and then two left clicks. Saves us so much time and effort as well. Oh wow, this bicycle in War of the Walkers feels kind of fast. You pick up speed really, really fast and you can turn on a dime as well. That's really, really awesome. I just have to be careful of the HP on the bike. I don't want to lose it. Okay, so I want to see how many zombies we have to still kill. Uh, I may mostly strip that whole place. I'll just really read the books that we found. And you constantly make sure that we also see, can we now make the workbenches and stuff? It's so easy to go explore and read and read and just kill zombies. And then you completely forgot about the fact that you still have to go and make the workstations and stuff like that as well. Okay, this pipe puzzle is kind of good. I have more iron. See, we have to slowly but surely do more, the rest of the iron. I want to see if we can't get a quest well, to the northeast now, so we can go for that airdrop over there. Look, here's your pay for a job well done. Hmm. Crafting skill bundle. Yeah, let's go for this one. I wanted to go for the glue. I should probably go for the glue. But at the moment, if we can go for more bundles, the sooner we can unlock the workbench and uh, food and stuff, the better. Any more jobs? Northeast, please. Northeast. Northeast, northeast. This one over here, the witch residence. I've got I'm hoping that's really far in the okay. corner. Be careful and nice. try right not next to, to the OP bunker killed. as well. So as soon as we're done with that one, we can quickly go for the fetch as well. Level 21, two points to spend. I should probably also every now and then just make sure we're spending all our points. Armor progression, we have to still make the rest. And then this just now. We have to kill 11 more zombies with the pipe shotgun. The moment that's done, we can uh, revert back to melee. Although at the moment, as long as we have the ammo, I, don't, I really like the shotgun. If we can just get ourselves like a, a sort of shotgun or something like that, that would be really, really be awesome right now. That's explosives magazine. That is for the AR and for medical. Unfortunately, nothing that we really need right now. Oh, I need to remember that this door's open next to me. This dog keeps going in and out and I hear the, uh, the door open, uh, open and close. But you don't really click, oh, hey, any zombie or enemy or anything can actually walk through there right now. Okay, we haven't made that one. That's more iron. We just really see over here with a quest while we're doing this now. So we have the boots, armor piece, gloves. We still have to do the helmet and leg armor. But once again, I think it's the iron that we are short on right now. Okay, yeah, let me just quickly put all of this stuff away and then we can keep on going to the next house or next quest. Ooh, it seems the dual stuff is in the game. Nice. What is this? By Kip. Face your fears and prevail in the dungeon of Dwarf. Ooh. I wonder if we have high enough level because we don't have enough ammo. I'm really interested. Boss, boss, loot. I wonder if I should try it. Recommended level 60 plus. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, no, thank you. Level 60 plus. Damn. I do want to see if we can't find a POI over here that we can take over. I'm definitely going to go for the loot over here for the... Oh, there's a bookstore as well. We need to find the books. And then we need to get some tools over here as well. If I can get like a crowbar or something, that's going to really, gonna really, really, really going to help us. Hello, my lady. Oh, crap. Please, no dog. Please, no dog. Please, no dog. Damn it. I was a little bit too slow with the reload. So we need to dock them down and then we can go for the rest. Oh, we have to go all the way through there, up and down and stuff. I want to get for the books over here, but unfortunately we don't have the tools to bust in there right now. I want to see what this is over here as well. So we first go and knock you down. We'll just do slight damage and then do that. We need to make sure that we're the ones to kill them in the end and not our doggy. Where's my dog? A foxy? Okay, but yeah, uh, guys, I'm actually thinking of moving base next to Rekt uh, until we find a proper town as well. I want to move my uh, base right next to Rekt because this he's closer to the city over here. Jen is a little bit too far away from the city and I want to be close to this OP bunker over here. So if we can find a brick building or something to take over here in the city, that would be awesome. That's all I need to then go and move my base. I don't want to be too far away from the, uh, from the POIs and bases and stuff. I could just make a base right here in the city, but then we have to drive a little bit to, to get to the traders. That's the only thing I don't want happening. 
Okay, is this open or closed? If we could just get also the, like I said, the desert biome. That will help us a lot. Oh, my fox is going to attack that dude. Okay, I, I would know if there's a way to actually tell the fox, listen, attack. I think there's actually a button that you can craft, isn't there? Crap. Okay, yep, he's no killer. But if I'm not mistaken, there's supposed to be a button or two you can craft to say attack and stop and stuff. It's just been so long since I've done it, I can't remember where it is or what to do. Okay, so this is a double story building. That activated something just now. I want to grab all the loot over here. Oh, I wonder if that button opened this door over here. Foxy, why are you not attacking my little friend? I should probably open up all of these containers over here so we can loot them all together. Okay, hello, hello, hello. I need to make sure that we do like a full head-on attack when we kill them. This POI looks like it might be a really cool base. Whether it's actually going to be a cool base or not, that's a different story. Oh, see. see. I want the fox to start attacking so I don't have to use the club in between. If instead of using the club and then attacking with a shotgun, it can do some damage and then I shoot with the gun, that's going to help. Okay, why does it feel like there's going to be a ton of zombies over here? This place is filled with loot. Damn. Damn. I could have sworn this building was only like one level high. And now it's two levels high. So this is a new design, isn't it? Bathroom. Oh, there's a roof section. Oh, there's a roof section as well. Okay, let's quickly go down here then. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Why are they stuck over there? They're not coming down to me. See, my fox isn't attacking, but I want to get that last kill anyways. Oh, nice. We've killed all the zombies you have to kill with a shotgun, so now we don't have to use it anymore. What is this? Ooh, coin purse. Wait, why do I hear so much noise downstairs, but I'm not really seeing any zombies? I could have sworn the noise is coming from up here. That's why I was like, oh, let's really go to the roof. But it seems they're downstairs. Although, guys, this looks like it might make a really, really cool base. Most of this, if I'm not mistaken, is concrete. So if we can just find a base like this in the desert, for example. Wait, why? Move, fox. I want to make sure you first kill all the zombies over here. Oh, hello. I was wondering where all the noise was coming from. Oh, I thought that's all concrete, but it's not. It seems to be a lot of iron as well. It's a shame we don't have the next weapon. Oh, I think the next weapon might actually be a pipe pistol. I have leveled up at least, that's cool. Okay, so let's just see what our level is. I could have saw, I was like, where's all that noise coming from? It was confusing the hell out of me hearing all that noise and not seeing where it was coming from. Okay, we still have to clear the bottom out. Let's just please see for that quest. Soldier. Pipe machine gun. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is move this over then. So we can finish off the zombies with this. See, if I can make sure I'm the last one to do the damage and not my fox, we get the kill uh, count. This place is so filled with loot. I should probably wait until my higher level with better loot stage and game stage and stuff. Because then the loot inside of here will be way more worth it. Like, for example, at the moment, I might just get, like, stone stuff. Why don't I just open? I might get just stone stuff or something um, instead of... Ooh... Instead of, like, uh, iron and all that stuff, because my loot stage is just way, way, way too low. Okay, we're going to get a ton of books from this as well, so that's awesome. I'm hoping more, though, that we get, like, a ton of glue and stuff. If I can get a bit of axe faps, we'll be able to open up these containers, too. Or if I can get a... I could have sworn we had a crowbar. Is it just my imagination? Am I thinking of a different mod? I could have sworn we had, like, a blue crowbar. I was like, oh, nice. It's going to help us a lot. I should probably go back to the base and see if it isn't, perhaps, at the base somewhere. 
come on, come on, come on. I, I'm thinking of looting everything over here. Or at least opening everything up so we can loot it together then. That is a supply flare ammo. Oh yeah, I forgot about the flares in the game. But I think these are cabinets over here. I can just quickly speed loot. And then I can get you guys back uh, after we open up all the boxes. So we can loot the boxes together. Otherwise, it's going to take too long looting everything. There's definitely something over there. Oh yeah, that's another, that's another way to just loot anything under the floor. Instead of breaking it over, just walk over it. Okay, except that one seems to be connected to the... Shelves themselves. That's why that's not budging, unfortunately. It's almost night time. We have to be careful when it gets too dark because then the enemies are going to come for us. But until then, I'm going to make sure we loot this whole place. If it wasn't made out of iron, I'd definitely be living over here. Although if I can find the desert biome and perhaps find the Canucks uh, multi-store or something, that's also a really cool, or the uh, Canadian store. That's a really awesome POI to take over as a base. Okay, so unlocked. I wonder how many lockpicks do I have? Five. Okay, I got this on the first try though, so that's kind of cool. I want to make sure that we also get like uh, Lucky Looter goggles, unless I already have that on me. Handyland, construction, nice. The more construction we have, the better, the faster we'll be able to make com uh, cobble blocks and like concrete blocks and stuff. The amount of books we just got as well. A lot of people have said, oh no, the books are too hard to find and stuff. Ooh, screwdriver. But so far, I've been really lucky when it comes to like the books. I mean, all you have to do is loot. If you come across this construction uh, POI over here, just from this one POI, look at the amount of books we've found so far. Nice. The pliers and stuff, they're going to be able to go into um, the workstations too. That is a serrated blade. Put you on there. Anti-rad. Put that away. The more space you can make right now, the better, uh, basically. Okay, I also want to make sure over here. Cobblestone blocks still locked under construction. See, we've actually found so many of these construction designs now. We are so close to being able to make cobblestone blocks. Yeah, we need to... Okay, we need to read 15 more of those books to be able to do that, unfortunately. Okay, this one over here. We still have to go um, upgrade or... Uh, no, upgrade. <laughs> we still have to go break all the containers and stuff on the second floor and on the, no, on the... On the ground floor over here. And then the second floor on top. Okay, so ground floor boxes. Let's see what you have for... Ooh, another flare. Building supplies and armor. Oh, yes, yes, yes. If we can come across more tool stores, it seems like that's the way to go. Although, the tool store has a lot of, like, uh, building stuff connected to it. So we should probably go for, like, food stores and stuff if we want to unlock the rest. If we want to get more, like, home cooking stuff. We still have to go for the second floor as well. I already got the trash back there. Just, I had to... I, it's either break this apart or loot through the crack. I decided to just go and loot through the crack. Okay, all of these over here we have looted. Now we go for the second floor. At least this isn't taking as long as I thought it would, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't think we are going to be looting this long. More books. More books. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Okay. So now we have looted all of the non-important stuff, so now we can loot all of this stuff together. I've already looted the kitchen over here. Got that one over there. Bookcase. And the amount of books and stuff in this POI alone, this is not just a bookstore. We can actually turn this mining helmet off because it's so bright in here. But yeah, this is not even just a bookstore, it seems, because there's so much stuff in this place. We'll loot the other side together. Let's just really loot these ones first. At least I think the next step is just the roof and we've already been there. I think. <laughs> this place has so many floors and so much loot. I can't believe this is just one POI. I just think I almost skipped this one just to go, uh, go and do a quest. It goes to show sometimes when you get distracted, it's actually a really good thing. It's just a shame, after all of that, we didn't get a single uh, wrench. Although, who knows? Perhaps I looted one without even realizing it. Yeah, the next floor is just the roof. But the rest of here, we've actually looted everything. I want to make sure when we go through a place like this, we loot everything. Toilets, cabinets, trash. You never know what you're going to get in the next box. There might be something really, really epic. More flares. I can't wait to test these flares next episode. Okay, uh, unlocked, untouched. Empty working stuffs. And to make sure we go for all of these um, resource ones first, because we're going to need all the resources we can come across. Okay, so this place has been looted. I'm actually really happy that I got so distracted. Although we, oh uh, yeah, we'll have to drop a ton of stuff on the vehicle. We might be able to make the workbench now. That was a lot of books. It's going to show in the bottom of here what we've actually unlocked. I think we've just unlocked the scrap tool as well. So we can finally progress that too. Nice. These all scrap for the papers. 
Remember, you can actually make these schematics over here, and with the schematics, you'll, uh, you'll able to actually then go and make bundles of um, more schematics and stuff. Okay, so we do, yeah, Taz's Stone Axe is better than my Stone Axe. No wrench, unfortunately. But we have a ton of flares and stuff over here. Well, uh, that's not as good as mine. That's not as good as mine. We have a better one at the base. Okay, but yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description down below.